Hey, what's happening, ladies and gentlemen? Steven Davidson here, and obviously, we're not shaving. But, i got something special for you guys this weekend, specifically today and Sunday. Oh yeah, you're seeing it. Uh-huh. You're about to see me do a honing video. I haven't done one in forever. It seems like, but uh, there's a back story behind it, and I'll go ahead and give you the skinny. Basically, a friend of mine, uh, Tim Shull, aka T Shull Vintage Shaver, I'll put the link to his channel below, messaged me yesterday, and he said he wanted to know if he could tag me in a video, and I said, sure. I asked him what the tag was, and it's a three sh razor shave video different razor for each pass so all right you know what why not so i decided to bust out the straight razors and get a honing video in a quick one and uh go ahead and bust them out for the sunday shave so i'm gonna have a nice three straight razor shave uh sunday the video for the shave video so that's the story on that so and to make sure that they're tuned up and ready to go why not do a honing video now the reason before this for these two videos these this one and the uh, shave of the day video on Wednesday is because this will be my last shave before I get before Christmas so I won't get a shave until the day after Christmas so I figured why not do something special for my straight razor user fans and subscribers so i'm gonna do a straight razor shave for you guys sunday so with that being said let's get started i've got my coffee dunkin donuts original blend and let's get started let me pause this and get set up all right stand by okay i'm back here we go. Let's get a good slurry worked up here. This is a Naniwa 12K Super Stone Slurry Stone. You can find it on sharpeningsupplies.com. I'll put the link to the stones below. Look at that. Mm -mm -hmm. Enough right there. All right, let me back out and move the camera a little bit. All right. Start off with the 207. They don't need much. These were pretty much shave ready, but I thought I'd take them to the stones anyway to clean them up and uh, sharpen them. This is a Naniwa Snow White AK June Paiku. And I'm using uh, Dr. Matt's underrunning water technique, which takes no time at all to do. All right. All right. Getting there. Be down a little bit here. Let's turn the stone. You won't even wear on both sides. And dilute the slurry a little bit. Boom. Now, for you new guys wondering about slurry stones, what it does is add an extra, a little extra oomph, if you will, to the cutting power of the stone. Speeds up the honing process a tiny bit and adds a touch more polish and refinement to the edge that's what the slurry stone does and in some cases you need it just to get the stone to work specifically with a uh, J Nats now 
As far as going by grit, I've explained in previous videos that you can't go by grit grading. You really can't. Basically, what I used to go by on a regular basis before I stopped buying stones and whatnot was I went by bevel set, mid-range, finisher, and polish. That's it. That's all I went by. Because I've got stones in here that are both 1K, yet one's finer than the other, and they're both and both of these two stones are actually made by the same brand. So that tells you right there, you can't really go by grit too much at all. And there is no grit rating for naturals. You just gotta go by finish, polish, and all that mess. And I believe I am there on this one. Yeah, it don't take much. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Very, 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 very nice. So, let me do a few more laps. I'm going to pause this so I don't eat up my video time. And then I'll come back with an extra razor. So, stand by. Okay, I'm back. i done a little bit of my buddy Anthony Esposito's routine on uh, that round. Get it back to where I needed it. It was in worse shape than I thought. So the 207 is pretty much ready to be finished, which I'll get to in a bit. But first, let me go ahead and show you what I've done. Look up a slurry real good. loop the slurry a tiny bit now first I'm going to do about 10 X strokes if you will subtle to get things uh, mixed up real good this is my Griffin double X vintage it don't need much I'm sure The 207 I got from a friend of mine, Frank Mesa, over at Strike Gold Shave. He's on vacation right now for the holidays, I would assume. But uh, he does a real nice job of honing, and uh, he took care of me on that 207. It's, it takes a beautiful edge. That's my second best razor next to this one. This one right here is fantastic razor. Griffin Double X, you kid. Solids and steel, one of the best vintages you can get. All right, let's do the a little bit of the uh, Japanese style hone, if you will. All right, I'm going to start with 20. Turn it over and do this about the same on the other side. Ten seconds on this side here. Ten seconds over here. Five seconds over here. Five seconds over here. Now I'm going to do 10 X strokes cleanups. Same same style, if you will. Same method. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now, after I'm done with the 8K, then I need a Snow White 8K. I'm going to show what I do stripe-wise. So let me move you over here, like so. All right, these lovely stripes I got from my buddy Keith Johnson at Tomo Nagura. This is a 1970s vintage fire hose strop. And this is his genuine made in New York City leather Mustang three inch leather strop. It's fantastic strops that I love them. So if you get a chance to get you one of these, hop on over to tomodagura.etsy.com or tomodagura.com slash Etsy. I'll put the links to below to where you can get all these fine items. All right. Now I'm just going to do 10 round trips on a vintage uh, fire hose strop. You leave with a spine, you roll on the spine like so. And don't get in no hurry. Don't do that Hollywood BS because you can take a chance of cutting into your strop and you can roll your edge and kill it. So just go slow. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's all I do, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. So, let me pause this, move you back, clean up the stone. I got one more razor to do, and then I'll bring you back and show you how I finish. Stand by. Okay, I'm back. Now I'm going to show you how I finish. All right, this is a Imperia La Rosia, or ILR. Now, for the longest time, I did not like this stone. And when I first got it, I still wasn't impressed with it until I got it lapped down. Once I got it lapped down and got it to this part right here, it became a really sweet stone. And Dr. Matt Robbins did an incredible job at putting together a quick video. Well, it's, his video is not exactly quick, but the method is, and uh, it's pretty cool. So, let's watch this. First, I'm going to wet the stone. Now, I'm going to turn the water down real low, like so. All right, now I'm going to show you this with my uh, 207 here. You wet the razor blade, like so. Right now, you're just going to do simple X strokes. And you're going to stop when the stone gets, when it gets so sticky you can't go across the stone, is when you stop. This is Dr. Matt's Underrunning Water ILR technique. Good, I still got a little bit of time. And it's getting there already. And I just simply do this until the razor doesn't want to hardly go across the stone. It could take a few minutes. Depends on what kind of shape your razors are in. And they usually don't. There we go. Usually doesn't take very long. Turn up the water a little bit. Okay, that's better. There we go. What's that doing? No wonder it's on warm water. Excuse me. Better. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. There we go. Getting there. See how it's struggling to go across the stone? Okay. It usually doesn't take more than 20 laps. Sometimes it takes a little bit more depending on what kind of shape your razor was in. That's why we go to the 8K first to bring it back up. I didn't kill the edge. It already had a pretty good edge on it to begin with. I just wanted to make sure. You know what I mean. Ooh, look at that. This side needs a little bit more. see what happens that's better there we go yes that's what it needed okay it's back goes yeah turn up the water a little bit Good to go there. Okay, now I'm going to show you my stropping. So here, I'll show you my stropping here in a few minutes. Let me go ahead and finish up these razors, and I'll bring it back to the last razor. So stand by. Okay, I'm back, and now to show you what I do on the strop. Now that I've got all three honed up. Okay, what I'll do is I'm going to rub this down real good. Till it's warm to the touch, like so. This also adds the natural oils from your skin to the strop, which you desperately need. Keeps the strop from drying out and keeps it moist and lubricated, and takes a real nice patina to it. All right, this is my Tomo Nagura 3.0 Mustang strop. Okay, now I'm gonna hold it snug. Not stupid tight, just snug. And I'm gonna lay the spine down like so, and I'm gonna lead with the spine, and I'm gonna roll on the spine, like so. Now, I'm just going to do 10 round trips slowly. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. That's it. Less is more. I tend to get better edges and better shades if I strop less. So let's do this one here. This is 66. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. That takes care of that one. And I'm going to finish off with my griffin right here. Ten of them. Same thing. Just one, roll on the spine. Two, two, roll on the spine. Three, four. <clears throat> Door won't stay shut. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that'll do it, ladies and gentlemen. Let me move you back up here and turn to spin you around a little bit. Okay, and that should do it. Hopefully this will help some of you new guys out, uh, what not, uh, and hopefully you've enjoyed this impromptu honing session. You got to keep your razors uh, maintained, and if you don't sharpen and oil them on a regular basis and keep them clean and whatnot, they'll start to rust and pit on you. See you right here. So, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Take care, and God bless. 
See you on a, see you Sunday for a straight razor shave. Later. <laughs>